Hello, hello, welcome back to another anime art video. My name is Dennis and I'm a beginner artist and in today's video I'm going to be drawing a rando, right? Um, but not completely random because this arc is in fact the the big arc aside from you know the dra the drastic battle with uh Aizen this is in fact the second biggest arc in terms of like bleach thus far this is like the lead up and the build up to show uh the de facto power of somebody like Aizen because yes we can see how strong Aizen was based on like his actions uh before when he before he left he was able to stop Ichigo's sword very easily he was able to beat up two captains I think or one captain uh very easily and he is essentially a captain of two other captains and if you think about what it takes to be a captain to be a captain of a captain is a uh, very a very high position uh and that's why obviously you know somebody can look at the captain yamamoto and be like yeah he's a very strong individual because he's been captain of all captains of all the squads for years uh and he's still at that position it's it's a testament to how strong he is so somebody like aizen comes along and for him to be a captain of captains is he's a captain of legitimate captains he's not a captain of people that can be a captain right like i think that there's a difference between having somebody in your group that has the properties of a captain and can be a captain maybe versus having somebody that's actually a captain i think the difference is that the qualifications for being a captain when you look at it are very much black and white right i think eisen said that in order to be a captain you have to have uh you have to be i think well versed in all three different forms and then you have to have a significant amount of spiritual pressure and then you also have to like have a lot of combat experience or something like that i don't i don't remember definitively but those are like the requirements and for like you can reach those requirements without actually being the highest tier of captain because not all captains are the same not all captains are made equal so when we look at them if somebody if if the qualifications are to be uh, to have your spiritual uh, spiritual pressure be as strong as a captain, let's say the weakest captain that they've ever had that they set the the scale to be, let's say that that person was like ten ten thousand, right? But the highest form of captain that we have is one hundred thousand. You know, so you can be a captain by just getting ten thousand, right? But it doesn't mean that you match up to the other captains. And what I'm saying is that uh, Aizen, the two captains that he has, are people that are actually like as strong as captains. They're people that can fight against captains. Like if Ichigo was actually, um, if Ichigo was actually in the Soul Society, he'd have the form. Like he'd be able, he'd be eligible to be a captain already because he's basically like a Kimpachi, essentially, right? He may not know a lot of Hados, but his sword skill and his spiritual pressure alone are enough to get get him uh, a captain's position solely by fighting. If he fights people, that's how he can do it. So he can fight a captain and pop probably get their position, but um. That's what I'm saying. So he doesn't meet the qualifications to be a captain, right? But he still is a captain's level. And I'm saying that that like overall, this arc is uh, 
it's the lead up. It shows how strong somebody like Eisen is, what grew, like what guys he has underneath him. Because obviously us looking at it, when we look at an anime and you see the main character or the main villain not fighting and you see a bunch of strong opponents that are fighting our characters, naturally our mindset knows that, hey, if these guys are this strong, how strong is the guy that's leading them? And the two other captains that he has with him aren't fighting either. They're all trapped in fire right now. So let's get into this. Silent nights recalling you. A souvenir of what it could be. Pieces of my mind are yours. I forgot the parts I'm missing.
I am finished with this picture of this regular hollow. I'll see what I end up drawing within these next few episodes. I know what I'm going to end up drawing with one battle that's going on, but you know, there's no definitive uh, decision that's made on my part on whether, like, on who or what to draw. So, you know, we'll cross that road when we get there. But. That's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, let me know what I can do in the comment section to make it better for you to watch next time. The glove is off. Peace, love, thanks for watching.